Okay. A few years ago, I was unemployed for five months. I had no money and had a lot of time on my hands. And so I decided to try and win some money on the lotto. And to do this, I made a spreadsheet where I got the entire draw history and I put it all into the spreadsheet. This is draw number one, draw number two, draw number three, and so on. And this is the Euro Millions. These are the main numbers, these are the star numbers, and this is the draw number. And all this is here is just saying whether it's even, odd. It's a bit like uh, roulette, but you get odd and even. And so I've got the entire draw history of the Euro Millions right here. The latest draw is this one, which is draw number 906. So I'm just going to update my spreadsheet. We're on draw number 906. And the numbers were thirteen, twenty seven, oh, twenty five, sorry, twenty seven, twenty three, forty six, four and eight. And we're still using machine eleven, so that falls number three. And what we can do with this data in the spreadsheet is we can do this we can analyze it now this is quite a big page for my spreadsheet look at all this <coughs> and basically we've got these columns here each column is for each number um, what it looks at is when each number last came out and it counts how many times each number's come out. So we can then produce a chart. Up here we've got the frequency. This is how many times each ball has come out. And then we've got the recency. This is what draw the numbers last appeared in. And I've made it so that you can flip it either way. You can have it going left to right, right to left. You can have it going up, you can have it going down. <coughs> At the moment, I've got it so that the higher frequency numbers are at this side, the more recent numbers are at this side. So as you can see, the more recent combination was this one. Now, I've got to expand this because every time there's a new result, I have to add it here at the top. And to do that, I have to update this entire sheet which means I have to fill all of this part and then add another line for the most recent result go back up to the top and that's that done so now on the chart you see the most recent combination is there at the bottom as you can see, number 46 come out 68 times up to now. 43 this minute, and so on and so on. And we get this interesting pattern. And the idea is to look for the pattern, and once you know what the pattern is, then you can predict how it's going to change next. You can predict where the next number is going to be. Now, you notice it's more dense in this region and it sort of scatters out as you go away from it. But what we can also do with this chart is we can look at the star numbers which are here. You notice number 10 and 11 is missing and the reason why is because draw number 381 
was when they added those two numbers. So we, what we can do is we can omit all the draws up to 381. So now we're only looking at the data for the draws that have come after draw 381 up to the present one, which is 906. And as you can see, 10's there, 11's there. So when we look at the star numbers, there they are. And we can look at only the star numbers if you want, omit the main numbers. That's what the star numbers look like at the moment. 10's more frequent. 6 is the least frequent, most overdue is number 2, and all the others are just somewhere in between. Now we can omit the star numbers and just look at the main numbers. Now the main numbers have always been 1 to 50, so we can look at all the data from the very beginning. As you can see, number 50 is the most frequent, and number 18 is the most overdue. Now I've noticed that that is quite typical. 18 seems to be overdue quite a lot and 50 seems to be most frequent quite a lot quite often and if you notice if we look at the chart for numbers that have come out with number 18 we see that number 50 doesn't come out very often with number 18 they come out let's see four times number 18 if we look at number 50 see that number 18 again four times with number 50 and this is all the other numbers how often they've come out with this number number 50 now if you look on this chart you can see number 50 is quite overdue considering how often it comes out but if you look at the rest of the chart you can see that it fits with the pattern so we've got it seems to have got like these sort of diagonal branching branching out diagonally got these little lines that seem to appear yeah there's a pattern here there is definitely a pattern so if number 50 was to come out this is what it would look like Did it work? What's going on here? What have I done? What's going wrong here? Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, I had to turn that off. <laughs> right, if it to come out, that's what it would look like, and that's how the pattern would change. Um, what I look for when assessing this chart is how overdue the numbers are, how frequent they are but also you have to look at the sort of anomalies that you get uh, you sometimes get patterns where like for ex example if you notice just here there's a lot of even numbers all in one place sometimes you get a lot of odd numbers in one place that's kind of anomalous Seems a bit unusual. Notice here we've got a lot of multiples of three in this region. And plus you get these interesting lines. Like this one here, this one. And this one's strange, we've got a like a vertical line there. Now all these all these patterns in uh, sort of patterns in chaos kind of anomalous and what you have to do is you have to predict how the chart is going to change in such a way that the, the pattern remains chaotic so if I was to predict for example that number 50 is going to come out I want to predict a number that's going to come out with it I look at the chart for number 50 See kind of a dense region just here. And I've got two numbers in this one, two numbers there. Seems to be sort of scattered more at the top. There's a bit of a gap. And then it's sort of dense again. I've got these lines going across. Now it looks like 
there's an entire column missing there. That's not too unusual. It seems to seems to be consistent with what no what patterns you normally get. But I would predict that something's going to happen with these this dense region here. Maybe one of these numbers will come out. I'm not sure which one. So let's just choose any. And then we're looking at a chart for numbers that have come out with these two numbers now. Let's have the star numbers on there as well. Get the star numbers. Looking at the star numbers, you can see number 7 comes out most frequently, number 50. So basically what I'm showing you here is is this chart that I've made. This uh, it's about spreadsheet that produces statistical analysis of the entire draw history of the Euro millions. <coughs> and basically it gives you all that information in, in a nice easy to see chart. It lays out all the numbers in a chart so it's easy to see. So, if you can see anything, anything interesting on this chart, then you sort of get an idea of what sort of numbers to, pre to predict. Because the, the laws of averages govern how, how, how the numbers are distributed on the chart, but it's also chaotic at the same time. So that should give you an idea of what numbers to pick on the Euro millions, how overdue they are, how frequent they are, and where they are on this chart. So I hope this helps you pick your Euro numbers, Euro millions numbers for the next draw. The next draw is draw number 907. Good luck and thanks for watching this video.